in pain? Come see Dr. Louie. He'll make you guys feel better. Somehow that's not so comforting. Hi! What's going on, guys? We are protesting on their treatment at the hands of the chiropractic overlords. What's a chiropractic? A chiropractor is a doctor who treats the back and spine. And we are not going to take the injustice they deal any longer. Oh, I don't have a spine. I'm a sponge. So I guess I can't join you guys. You are speaking the nonsense. We are all invertebrates at this rally. None of us have spines. Oh, well then what good is a chiropractor? You are missing the point. We are protesting their right to see this chiropractic charlatan. None of us actually want to see him, we just want their right to do so. Patrick, this sounds like a job for two men. Squidward and Mr. Krabs? Uh, no. Mermaid Man and Particle Boy? Nope. I give up, I give up! You and me, Patrick! It is our duty as men to help these people iron out their differences. Oh, you just reminded me of something really important. What's that? I think I left the iron on at home. <sighs> so we have decided to help you come to an agreement. Take me to your leader. Ha <laughs> ha! Marius, get a load of the yellow one. He wants to see Octavio. Ha 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 ha! As if anyone off the streets can demand to see Octavio. Octavio? Yes. He is a generalissimo of the invertebrates. And he does not see just anybody. He is a busy man. He does not have time to cheat chat with the riffraff. Does he have time to fiddle faddle with the flim flam? I do not ask him about his personal business. So what would I need to do to get to see Octavio? Well, I would need proof that you are serious about helping our cause. If you could bring a peace offering from the despicable Dr. Louis, then I think we could do business. I'm on it! Okay, I'm gonna go. Viva la Révolution! I don't need to use that now. Good afternoon, ma'am. Hi. Can I help you? to see the doctor? That's nice. Do you have an appointment? Not as such. Hmm, well, he's a pretty busy guy. Let me see what I can do. What's your name? SpongeBob SquarePants. No, seriously. SpongeBob SquarePants. Do your parents not like you? They love me. Why? Just curious. Anyway, what species are you? I'm a sponge. A sponge, huh? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Squarepants, but Dr. Louie is a chiropractor. Yep. Well, a chiropractor deals with bones, the backbone or spine. Uh-huh. Well, how can I put this? You are an invertebrate. Yep. So, you have no spine, no bones. How can you be treated by a back doctor if you have no back? Very carefully? No, I'm sorry. Unless you have a spine, you cannot see Dr. Louie. Barnacles. Are you aware that there's a protest going on outside the office? I guess, if you can call two people a protest. They're upset that the doctor won't treat them. It's not that he won't treat them. It's that he can't treat them. Are you even listening to me at all? They have no bones. It's not nice to tell someone they have no bones. It's a tough world, little guy. Isn't there any way I can see Dr. Louie? Yeah, there is a way. Get a spine. Then I'll pencil you in. Good day to you, ma'am. Bye. That sea urchin won't miss one little spine. He's got hundreds. Hi, it's me again. I could tell, cause my heart went all a flutter. So, guess who has a spine? 
Not you. You're a sponge. Wrongo. What is this? Uh, it's a sea urchin spine. Exactly. So let me in. I'm gonna see the doctor. You have missed the point entirely. Patrick, did not this kind lady say earlier that if I got a spine, I could see Dr. Louie? She did, she did. I heard her. And I do believe this is a spine. Ergo, therefore, and thusly, you should honor your word. Ugh, oh, I don't get paid enough for this. Fine, give me a moment. Patrick, we are quite possibly the smartest creatures living under the sea. Did you see her? She was all confused. <laughs> it must be hard being so stupid. Whoa, wait a minute. We live under the sea? Okay, you can see Dr. Louie now. Hooray! Ew, gross. Yeah, hospital stuff creeps me out. Hiya, Doc! Hello, what seems to be the problem? Talk about the protest you have going on outside. Oh, that. Yeah, those guys are kind of getting on my nerves. But the big one, he scares me. Always looking at me kind of shifty and stuff. Why won't you treat them? Hey, I'd be happy to treat them if that's what they want. Wouldn't help them, of course, being that they are boneless. But I'll do what I can. The problem is they're pretty touchy, especially the leader. I spoke with a member of the revolution, and he said that if I could bring him a peace offering, he'd help me reach Octavio. Really? That's good news. Got anything I can bring him? Hmm, you can take my stethoscope. You think that'll do? Maybe. Thanks. You want something? No? You are quite possibly the largest starfish I've ever seen. Yes, it is in my genes. That those genes have a size 46 waist. I, 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 I. Mm. <laughs> a little denim humor. Don't push it. Do you know what's going on here? Of course I do. I am a soldier in the Revolutionary Army. I fight for all invertebrates everywhere. Well, when I say fight, I mean stage protest. But it is every bit as noble. If you guys are protesters, shouldn't you have signs and be chanting slogans and stuff? That's what I said. But our leader Octavio said, it's better we just stand around outside this here place looking mean. And you know, you do that very well. Okay, I'm gonna go. Viva la revolution! Hi, it's me again. Mon dieu, don't scare me with your infectious happiness. I got a peace offering from the doctor. Hmm, this will do just fine, I believe. I will tell you the password to get past Octavio's personal guard, but it will not be enough. You will need to wear the outfit of La Revolution. Talk to my friend Marius. He has an extra one. Okay. What's the password? The password is sticks and stones can't break our bones cause we don't have any. More like a passphrase, really. Whatever. Hi, did you grow since we last talked? You bore me. Your friend over there said that you had an extra black turtleneck that I could wear. I do. You can have it, but I'm afraid it won't fit. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna go. Viva la revolution! Mm, SpongeBob? Yes, Patrick? I think I'm gonna stay out here. Okay, okay, have it your way. Wait here, I won't be long. What you doing? Huh? Looking for something? 
What you looking for? Ah, my socks. Huh? Ah, I forgot to take my socks off before I got into the pool. They came off while I was in there. And now I can't find them. Maybe I could help you find them. Ah, don't bother. I mean, the hot water probably shrunk them down to nothing anyway. What good are socks that don't fit anymore? I'm sorry. Ah, hey, they're only socks. Not like I lost my hat or anything. Good point. Well, good luck. Ah, thanks. The water in that spring is extremely hot. Water shrunk the black turtleneck. Now it's just my size. The hot water shrunk the turtleneck. It's just my size now. Hello, shopkeeper. Hey. Hey, this is an interesting store you have here. Yeah, well, it serves its purpose. You don't carry Kelpo by any chance, do you? Not hardly. The only food we have comes in cans. Ooh, canned food! My favorite! Take me to the leader. I have the password and the uniform. What's the password? Sticks and stones can't break our bones because we don't have any. Correct. Viva la revolution! Octavio is down the ladder in the back. Thanks! So, Octavio, we finally meet. Apparently. You are a hard man to get in to see. Octavio must protect himself. There are people who would see Octavio hurt. You are not one of those people who would betray Octavio, are you? No! SpongeBob would never betray Octavio! SpongeBob swears! Octavio believes you. So, Octavio, tell me about yourself. If the movement were a living being, Octavio would be the brain. Jack and Marius would be the lungs, and Valjo upstairs would be the heart. And who would be the skeleton? No one! We would need no skeleton. Bones are like crutches, and we have no use for crutches. I like this room. You know why? Because to rage against the dying light stares your soul with cold. Because a mighty beast lies dormant within your heart. And Octavio awakens that beast within the smell of injustice. A smell no cologne can cover, not even one that cost five dollars. Well, I was just gonna say because it has a ladder, and ladders are fun! Octavio weeps for their truth. Hey, your answer was good too. SpongeBob comes with a peace offering from Dr. Louie. He wants to offer you his services. Right now, he's trapped in his office. He's afraid Marius is going to step on him. <laughs> he just might. So you are telling me Dr. Louie is prepared to treat invertebrates? Yes, and he gave me this stethoscope to give to you as a sign of peace. A stethoscope, huh? Uh, yeah? Dr. Louie offers his noble adversary Octavio a stethoscope? Uh, well... This is momentous. This is like a warrior offering up his trident. Perhaps Octavio misjudged Dr. Luby. I must set up a meeting with this man at once. You! And you, Jello Bon, Octavio offers his heartfelt thanks. Without you, who knows what madness we might have descended into. Hey, SpongeBob is more than happy to help. A thousand thanks. I will go meet this great healer at once. Viva la revolution! Proving that no good deed goes unpunished, Dennis the Hitman catches up with SpongeBob and Patrick. Not so Just fast! Just when it seems that they will be crushed on the foot, a giant boot crushes Dennis, saving our heroes. But it is out of the frying pan and into the fire, 
as this mysterious benefactor of a foot turns out to be a hideous giant cyclops. <laughs> the cyclops easily captures SpongeBob and Patrick, who heroically pass out immediately. When they regain consciousness, it doesn't take much to realize that they are in a load of trouble. Help them escape their most dangerous predicament yet. Patrick, where are we? Kansas? I don't think so. But wherever we are, we better stay. Whoa! It's the Cyclops! M maybe he wants to be friends with us. I wouldn't bet on it. Tell me about it. This doesn't look too good, Patrick. You mean we're not gonna get the crown? Save the town? Mr. Krabs? I don't think we're even gonna be able to save ourselves, buddy. I guess what everyone said about us is true, Patrick. You mean that we're attractive? No, that we're just kids. A couple of kids in way over their heads. We were doomed from the start. I mean, look at us. We didn't even come close to the crown. We let everybody down. We failed. Shell City. Yep. We never made it to Shell City. Shell City. Exactly, buddy. That's the place we never got to. Shell City. Okay, now you're starting to bum me out, Patrick. No, look at the sign. Shell City. Marine gifts and sundry. Shell City's a gift shop? But if this is Shell City, then where's the... Dad, we did make it. SpongeBob, buddy! Don't die! We've come so close! I've got to find a way to bring SpongeBob back to life! He needs water, and fast! 